Good morning, guys. So I started making a video and my microphone wasn't turned on. Uh, so I changed the drawing a little bit without being able to show you guys exactly how I did it. Um, so you could probably notice that my background is not visible. Uh, so let me show you how I, I went about doing that. Um, so I didn't completely finish my drawing. First off, I, do, I would completely have my entire face, neck, hair, hands if they're in there completely covered um, with whatever color you're using. So remember, it should be monochromatic. So just one color, uh, just different values of that one color. Okay, so you should be completely filled in with whatever color you decided to use. So once we have that finished, you wanna make sure that looking around the outside edge of your face and shoulders and hair, you have a continuous line. Okay, so I created that continuous line and once you have that in, you could hide the photograph just by clicking that eyeball up here. Or if you wanna click on the dot, dot, dot and get rid of the photo, you can. But I'm gonna leave mine in there just in case uh, and since I didn't completely finish mine. Okay, so once I get rid of that, then what I did is go to uh, the paint bucket tool and we are going to create a background, okay? So we do want it to be gray and you could use any shade of gray, any type of value of gray you want. And that's what we are going to fill our background in with, okay? So once we have that filled in, you can see I have a couple spots showing. Um, we're gonna create some type of pattern or design. It could be a fade. Anything that you want to make the background a little bit more interesting, okay? So again, just using different shades of gray. So totally up to you what you want those to be. And whatever tools you wanna to use, um, we are gonna start this guy, making some type of pattern or design in the background. So again, totally up to you. You could use multiple tools uh, to make that pattern or design. Like I said, it could be a fade, anything that you want, okay? So put a background in your photograph and when you're finished, don't just send a screenshot because you can see all the tools and things. Um, save this to your photographs from the app and then upload that photograph into Google Classroom, please. All right, have fun, and I will talk to you guys next time.